Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am trying something new, two things actually. So I'm testing this to see how it's going to turn out. I've been working on my little stationary bento boxes as I've mentioned a few times and I just keep adding and adding things to it. So I thought I should start just recording a little bit of what's in it so far or some of the pieces. This is not everything um, because otherwise I'll never finish um, adding to it. So I think I should just start with this. So first and foremost, thank you so, so much for all your wonderful comments, for all your feedback in my last few videos. I did a, um, I did make three um, videos, um, one showing you how to make a mini album and the other one, um, how to embellish it. And so the last one was a bit of a, oh, anyways, if you haven't seen it, um, it was just, uh, you know, a little bit about what's going on and the frustrations with the, um, the YouTube community at this point. And so all your wonderful um, comments have been just amazing. I absolutely appreciate it. And thank you so, so much. Those of you supporting my shop by, you know, purchasing my digitals and of course, supporting the artists that I feature in my shop as well by purchasing their work um, is truly, truly appreciated. So to get started today, so it, this video doesn't run too, too long. I um, I have a few pieces that I send in um, happy mail to friends, etc. And, you know, like kind of swaps, I guess. So the first little set, um, I've been inspired again and I made these little... First, I'm going to show you what they look like printed. I made these little um, journaling cards. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Um, but this one says gardening notes. And you've got some, you know, little areas for note taking. You've got some info, your annual, perennial, sun, shade, etc. Then you've got garden wishes and then a little to-do list. So this is what this one looks like printed on white um, printer paper. I like to use a 28 pound at least for printing my images. And if you're interested in the papers I use or the printer I use, uh, please see my description box below, or I will also put it on my blog. Um, the link will be up here or as well as below. I have links to my favorite supplies, including the paper I like to use and also the um, printer I use, plus some additional pieces. This is the same um, items printed on this sort of manila colored um, cardstock paper. Um, so again, it's linked in that description box and you can kind of see the different colors that it kind of, you know, gives you depending on what you print it on. So these ones I actually printed on um, this really beautiful paper i forgot the name right now that i'm filming but i will put that name above so you know what i'm talking about it's got a really beautiful natural tone to it so this is how they came out this one says again the garden wishes uh, to do gardening notes and then this one with the info so this is um included of course in it this will be linked in my shop um but i just printed these out to send to um, this is actually part of um, mail that I'm sending out, but also um, pieces that I will be including in the bento boxes, the stationary bento boxes. And they will each be individually made, so they won't be the same, but they may have some of the same items. So I just want to kind of, you know, start with that. Um, one of the, the first actual two boxes have already been spoken for, so I'll show you those in um, probably a separate video, unless I have time in this one. Um, but I am making a few more and thank you so much to the ladies that contacted me. As soon as you saw that I was posting that I was making a bento box, you wanted to have the first few that I'm making. So they're coming to you. Uh, most of the items will probably be a surprise to you, but you'll see similar, um, designs here that I've made today. Okay. So the next little piece that I made is this little pocket. And I made this using some of my uh, printables as well. And I like how it says Madame right on the front. And so you've got a nice, you know, collage happening there. This one here just has some really nice recipe cards. And I also included these vintage um, uh, index cards, like book index, index cards, right? So there's two of those there. And then another um, really nice uh, recipe card. 
So that's what this little, little bundle here holds. And I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm just loving, you know, putting these together. It's taking so long because, well, I just, I, each little one, I take my time. Okay, I wanted to show you this one first. So this folds over into a little booklet. Over here, you have, it says friends. And here I've used one of my most recent postcard, not postcard. Oh my goodness, Polaroid printables. Okay, so I have those and um, this one says friends, so I added that to it. The back, I've added a, a little something, that's what it says here. And then you're supposed to open it up whichever way you want, but it expands this way. And then of course the back has its own little um, printed paper there. So on this one, I've just included a few, a uh, couple of these vintage um, playing cards. And then here I just added some tags because, of course, you know, we're always looking for tags, right? These ones have like that nice little design at the top. And then this tag here, you can completely open it up and journal in it or etc. So that's that. On this side, I have added another one of my little Polaroids, but I left this one a little large because I just kind of liked how that looks. I didn't cut off a lot of the edges. And then here I just added a little sticker pack and it's got just some really nice um, either washi tape stickers or these little circle stickers. There's a, a little pack here for the person that is getting this. And then on this side, I just decided to do a little bit of stamping. And so I just stamped some really beautiful, um, you know, images that can be used in a lot of different projects and it's just different colors of ink and I thought it was just so cute to send that because um, she can just use it in you know various things that she wants to so of course that's not going to go back in now that I am filming and I'll probably put that in a little bit later okay so there's that little pack and the way I'm, I'm sending it is this way because the flatter your mail the more you can kind of pack into it I think and then it's also um, you know not as expensive as if you left it um, bulky but then I can still pack a lot more things so there's that part in here I made this little envelope with some leftover um, paper that I had and there's some original um, book page um, images as you can see here there's like a little um, tea card is that what they're called um, and then some original paper, etc. So I just kind of made, you know, this one to have little ephemera pieces that she can use that are real. I guess since it's washi, I could probably show you. I've uh, sealed it with washi so I can open it again. So you can see that it's got some, you know, beautiful images. Um, oh, yes, I included this cute little um, film thingy. There's the card there. And then just like I said, just I wanted to have some botanical themed original paper pieces in there. So that's what I've included in this one. And then the last one for now that I'm going to show you is this one here. So this is how it will um, come in the little package, of course. Um, and so I, you know, I opened it so I can show you, but it's just got a little... Um, a little bit of collaging on it. You've got a, vintage, a really nice doily with this beautiful, um, I'm not sure what to call this beautiful little string. Um, and I will have the person's name, of course, on most of these pieces. So this is what this one looks like. And let me just put these here so that you can still sort of see them, but they're not in the way. And you know what? I should have checked if I've been if you can see everything. So here's a little booklet of goodies. What I have in here is primarily um, original paper. Um, so vintage uh, wallpaper pieces. I have some original book pages, etc. cetera. Um, you know, some labels that I have printed, more vintage um, wallpaper. Uh, here's a little something again. And these little pockets, everything comes out. So you've got like, you know, these different little pieces in here, um, little tags these tiny little envelopes with the little slits. I showed you a tutorial on, on how I use that. So anyways, it's just filled with goodies on this side. I did get this in Happy Mail and I'm sending it to someone now. So, um, oh yes, you've got a little envelope in here um, that's been die cut. This is 
piano paper. I love the way this feels, that vintage piano paper roll. Love, love, love it. So there's that there. And then on this side, we have um, some of my little Polaroids again. This one's the one that says create, and this one has the little flower. And of course, you know that I love to just make pockets with everything. You have some, um, you know, just really nice stationery. I did make this other little envelope out of book pages. You've got an original playing um, ticket here. Um, doilies. Oh, yes, and my favorite piece. Okay, let me show you this in a moment. So I recently came across these gorgeous vintage airmail envelopes so i've included one in here and this is what they look like and i just love the color i love the print and this is what it is and of course they because they're vintage they were almost sealed but not quite so you've got a little bit of um you know some some of them have a little bit of like a tear here which i think just makes them even more fabulous so anyways i've included one of that there and of course my um my bento box is going to have some as well so that's it for this one, my friends. I will come back and show you more pieces that I'm adding to my little bento box. But this is some of the ones that would be included. Um, as I said, I'm just, I'm loving putting these together. And I'm pulling some out to send to friends as well. Of course, that's why you see this set here. Uh, don't forget to check out my blog and my shop for my newest little printables i hope you like them i think because we're doing a lot of gardening right now and these would be nice to put in your journals just you know quick little notes that you want to put in there um and they're just really nice and um i don't know i just love them and anyway. before i forget i wanted to say that um because i was making a few uh sets of these for um sending out to friends i decided that i was going to make a few extra so i will be adding those to my shop so um you know keep an eye out for that probably will be available as soon as i have this video filmed um, the original pieces of course will be different in each one but i am going to try and have something very similar included um, these ones will all be the same because i do have a few extra of the um, original pieces that you saw in this little pocket the ones in here of course those will the covers will all look a little different as you see they all have a little collage on them so they'll be packaged this way but they'll each have a little um you know different version of a collage on the front you will also have two of these um airmail envelopes included and of course most of the pieces that you see here if they are sort of one of a kind like something like this may or may not have something but i'll include um you know similar pieces that could work um, as collages or um you know little paper ephemera like for example this cute little um you know wallpaper piece i can i definitely can include a few more of those um this little lady here um i probably won't have more of her because this was in happy meal but i'll include something similar as, as well so i said everything will, will sort of have um the same feel to it um but some of the original pieces may not be the same and i just wanted to make sure that you knew that um but i will try and um, take some pictures of the pieces when i have them available and um these ones i will um send you the link so you can print them out if you want them or um, you have the option to have them printed as well and you'll have to let me know when you purchase your kit so i hope you enjoyed the share thank you so much for joining me today i will continue working on putting these together and i will see you next time thanks so much for stopping by